If you follow my channel, you may have remembered where I had to uh, tear out this shower and do it over again because there was a leak downstairs. Well, they had the glass on and it really looked sharp. It's a very tight fit. I like it. Uh, frosted glass. Nice tight fit. And the reason why is because they put a sweep on the side here, which I love. Uh, sweep at the bottom plus the angle of the curb, curb top as it were. Um, makes for a tight fit but uh, yeah it's very cool I like it a lot so you put an allen wrench in here and uh, there's a hex screw that's inside there that holds the handle and that's step one and then you just turn it left in order to uh, unscrew it and be very careful when it comes out it's a very tiny screw um, and it could easily go into the shower drain if you're not careful and then you have to go search for one, which is not going to be easy. Uh, once the handle is off, then I'll show the rest of the process. The handle has an Allen wrench screw that goes in there, a hex screw, if you will, and that's what holds it on right there. The hex screw is very, very tiny and requires something like that to get it out. Um, you might have to adjust a little bit uh, the handle up and down a little bit in order to when you put the allen wrench in there in order to find uh, the end of the screw sometimes a little difficult but that's what gets the handle off once you've taken off the handle you simply slide this portion out it'll be a little difficult because there's a rubber gasket in there that's supposed to hold it in place and uh, you can turn and twist it until you get it out and there's that rubber gasket after you've taken off the center part well the handle and the center part then you're down to uh, this part here which is easily taken off with one screw Then you're going to end up with this O-ring, and that O-ring, once it's taken off, will allow you to adjust the center part. So just make sure you put that back because that's holding in the center part. And then you're going to see uh, you're going to see this little arm here off to the left, and you're going to see the arrow. So you can actually pull this out. So this arm is not going to move, it's actually going to stay in the same spot. It's when you take out this aqua or blue part and adjust that, that it gets you more hot water. So the more you adjust it counterclockwise, the hotter it's going to be. As I said, it was up here, I think it was somewhere up there before. So look at that little arm, that little, uh, that little cutout right there. And the more you adjust it counterclockwise, the hotter it's going to be. Pretty scalding hot right there. So again, that little cutout is now far to the right. Um, and it's, it's pretty hot. There's probably a limit that you can make it, but uh, you're not going to take a shower with it set in that position right there. Yeah, I think that's the limit anyway. It just, it just won't go any further than that. It has to go flush with the rest of the valve. And that's as easy as it gets. I hope you enjoyed that video. If you did, then subscribe. Hit that button and subscribe. I make nothing off of YouTube, so please be a Patreon member. I'm going to post a link down below to my Patreon account, and you can donate a dollar, five dollars, ten dollars, twenty dollars a month. Just pledge that that on a monthly basis. That will help me produce more videos and and content so that you can watch and learn from my channel. And donate at least fifty dollars if you're going to call. If you're going to call for advice, donate to my PayPal, please. 
donate first and then feel free to call me or email me uh, for advice. Otherwise, business calls only, please.